What up, y'all? It's your boy Nick Nieto, aka Nick the Actor, aka Nick the Reactor, aka whatever the hell you want to call me today. Just go for it. More Tom McDonald music to absolutely probably make me lose my cool today. The system. Just seeing titles like this from Tom, there are so many different directions this song could go, but I already have a feeling I know whatever it is is gonna be good. It's gonna be great. And it's gonna be probably one of those songs where he's touching on some stuff that is going to raise some red flags. I'm glad to see it's at least still on YouTube and hasn't been removed for saying anything that they deem not fact-checked or bullshit. I have a feeling he's gonna be doing some talking on this one though, and I've tried to avoid spoilers. I haven't watched it at all yet until right here, right now. I know a lot of y'all been waiting on this. I've been waiting on it too, believe me. But now I can finally listen to this song, give it my honest opinions, and see what kind of message we've got today, because this is his first single after his little hiatus. I have a feeling he's got some pent up stuff to say, and um, a pretty badass music video from Nova to follow suit if I had to guess. So. I don't need to do a big introduction for Tom. Most of y'all know the deal. If you don't, then welcome to Tom McDonald's music. I hope you enjoy this, and hopefully you find yourself jumping down the rabbit hole along with me and many others in the Hog fam. So, much love to all of you who taking the time to watch this with me. I really appreciate y'all. Also, just a quick shout out to everybody that came by my huge, like, eight plus hour live stream that I did a couple weeks ago, where I checked out the entire Brave album, did a full live stream reaction with the cast and crew, with Hog fam. And it was an absolute blast. Like I said, over eight hours long, but we got through every song. I got to give my opinions and thoughts and really just enjoyed it as a listener. Um, so if you missed that, feel free to go check it out. There'll be a link up here somewhere. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. So shout out to everybody that came by. Shout out again to Tom and Adam and everybody else involved with that album because it was so well done. I was thoroughly impressed. Start to finish, there was no bad song. I That's my opinion, but it's it's weird. It's crazy and it's impressive. There was just banger after banger. Um, several that mean a lot to me, meant a lot to me. And um, feel free to go watch the, the live stream playback if you want. It's, it's It was quite the album, quite the day. That's beside the point, because today we got to learn about the system. I've been waiting to hear this. I don't want to keep rambling and shit like that. So let's just do it. Thank y'all for being here and let's go. So as you can see, the video's in the corner of the screen and just off the first shot alone, Oh Lord, I have a feeling that this is going to strike some nerves with some people. And if you're one of those people and you're going to get upset by this video and what Tom says and, 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 and be upset in the comments section, I'm so sorry. You're having a rough day, maybe a rough life from the system. And I just hope that you know that I don't care. So <laughs> I appreciate you. We're here for Tom McDonald, the system right here, right now. Shout out to Tom and Nova. Shout out Hog Fam. Let's do it. I'm gonna have it cranked up, so y'all might need to check your audio. But let's go. <clears throat> let's find out what Tom has to say about the system. Welcome to the world, baby boy. I'll paint you red and white and blue. The indoctrination starts. <laughs> Leave the kids alone. Imagine you're a little kid and you see Tom right there. He's got red eyes in this one. That's interesting. Okay, let's go. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pause as much as I want because you know it's my channel, my rules, and I'm gonna make my decisions over here. But here we go. Welcome to the world, baby boy. I'll paint you red and white and blue. The indoctrination starts as soon as you come out the womb. Pretty quick, we'll make you stupid with curriculums at school. And if the classroom doesn't do the trick, we'll make you watch the news. Pick your if school doesn't do the trick, the news sure will. Oh God, I see. I feel the brainwashing. I feel the brainwashing from the damn government. Hey, just remember. Hi, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Here's all this information in school. Oh, if that doesn't work, enjoy the news. Enjoy the current events. It's not doctor. Sorry, we can't help it. It's just the news. Read the news, watch the news, enjoy the news. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. That's what it sounds like all the time. And that's so true. The shit that's going on in schools is crazy. And like, I don't have any kids, but some of the things that I see, I am terrified at the thought, not of being a father, but of finding a school that's not going to be just full of bullshit by the time I have a kid. God willing, it changes and I have hope and faith and prayers, but my God, it's, uh, it's starting to get real scary when it comes to what kids are being taught and taught. But this whole, this whole notion of 
the system is pretty accurate so far from what he's saying. What will make you stupid with curriculums at school? And if the classroom doesn't do the trick, will make you watch the news. Pick your team, right or left. Take the red pill or the blue. You can vote, but even if you win, still everyone will lose. Don't even if you win, everyone loses. It's like a fucked up game of Monopoly, baby. Do not pass go. Instead, just turn around and quit. <laughs> but no, but for real, it is true. Like he's saying, it's just, it's, it's that stuff that gets thrown at you. Let's just divide everybody. Let's divide. You have to pick one. You have to pick one. And it's become more and more naturalized, I feel like. And it's, it's crazy that people just let him get away with Your it. Team, right or left, take the red pill or the blue. You can vote, but even if you win, still everyone will lose. Don't forget to buy designer because Gucci makes you cool. We prioritize material belongings over truth. Get a job that you can't stand so you can buy some cans of food. Go overseas and die. Hold on, hold on. I wasn't ready for the beat to drop like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I was not ready for the beat to drop because I was too distracted. Tom, I want one of those, one of those ski masks. I don't know who knit that for you. But I want one. The red, white, and blue one? Yes. Please. You see the background. Everybody sees the background. I need one. Anyway, let me hear that sauciness coming in. If you time. instill everyone. And I know I'm only 16 seconds into the song. My channel. We'll lose. Don't forget to buy designer because Gucci makes you cool. We prioritize material belongings over truth. Get a job yep. that you can't stand so you can buy some cans of food. Go overseas and die for freedom. There's some oil we can use. Our democracy exists so that you think that you can choose. But our algorithms make you do what we want you to do. Okay, don't nick, 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 since ooh, saw, ooh, saw. There was too many facts in a row. Sometimes Tom does this, and I have a, I have a meter. I have a meter, I think, in my own brain that says, okay, here is fact. Here's, here's where things start getting crazy when there's a line after one another. Then, if it's too many in a row, it just hits its boiling point, and Nick freaks out a little bit, okay? Not out of anger, not because I'm triggered, but because it's fucking facts. I'm going to try not to break something by the end of this video. Every bit of that. And he's just throwing in and people are going to jump again. Y'all have to remember, Tom doesn't pick a side, rightfully so, because I don't think there is a safe side. And that's the point of it. You don't have to be on a side. So if you're bitching about something he's saying, like, oh, that's bullshit, da -ba -da -ba -da, you're literally trying to be representative of a side, which is what the whole fucking song is talking about, how the system makes everybody choose a side, a label, some sort of group identity. And that is the whole point. So if the shoe fits... Buy it from Goodwill or sell it to Goodwill or something. I don't know what to do with that shoe. Our right. democracy exists so that you think that you can choose, but our algorithms make you do what we want you to do. What's the problem? Stop. Your depressed society has you confused. We got medication for you that you'll probably abuse. So we got medication for you that you'll probably you'll probably abuse. Like that's the it's it's a whole it's all a catch. It's the system. It's all the things that kind of just are convenient the way they're laid out, the way that they work, the way that it kind of takes over people's lives. It isn't so, oh no, something happened. So much of it, at the very least, feels very, very predictable and forced and kind of set up a certain way, like a system. Thank you. The problem, your depressed society has you confused. We got medication for you that you'll probably abuse. Go get married to a lady who also don't have a clue and pump out a few babies that are just the same as you. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here yep. inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Wow. And that's, that's the crazy part, is that when you have something like that, I feel like, in place, such as a systematic kind of thing that's levied against people or set up to be working a certain way that's not for the actual best interest of most people, those factors, they kind of, they, they make you already losing no matter what you decide to do. It's kind of out of your control at that point. So you can have things you could try to blame it on, and certain things could be blamed on personal decision for sure. But that's what he's saying is the point, general point of even if you think you're fighting for something good, you're still set up to lose. It's not saying that you shouldn't try, but it's kind of shitty that there's so many things set up that even if you try to fight against some things, you can't beat everything. Some of it is a part of that very system that you're within already. But just because it's already set up, you're already kind of two steps behind. It's, it's, that's kind of an interesting concept. Very interesting way to say it. And I still want to key in on the previous bar. I didn't mention it, but the algorithms and stuff like that are the perfect example where he was bringing up, we want to show you the stuff that we want to, it's, it's feeding. And same thing with Twitter and, you know, hopefully it goes a better direction now that Mr. Musk is in charge of it, but it's, it was always predicated on the idea of what can get people to stay here longer. 
Every platform is like that. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. They want to keep you there as long as possible and engaged as possible with that platform. That's how they make their money. They don't just want to show you stuff that you like because they realize how divided everything is that you can actually be more in tune to stay and engage on stuff that you disagree with that makes you mad. People, everybody wants to be so right and so correct that they want to respond. They want to talk their shit about something and they want to chime in and they want to do whatever. So it keeps you on the platform. That's why they just kind of gave up the whole, oh, let's give them actually what they want. No, let's get the stuff that's going to make them triggered. No matter what side you're on, they're going to show you the stuff that you don't agree with, usually more, so that you just have that knee-jerk reaction. You have to say something because everybody wants to be right. Everybody wants to correct shit, and they know that. They prey on that, and uh, it's fucked. It's very fucked, but that's exactly what it is. They want you to believe something, put it on the front page. Algorithm. Algorithms. Gotta love it. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here yep. inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the... Oh, the, why is he have the rocking chair on top of the little babies? Oh my god. Symptom, fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Well Tom. Tom, you're better than that, bruh. You're supposed to be sitting on a porch with some sweet tea, not rocking on some babies. That's what the system does, though, I guess. Damn, can't be comfortable. That's a nice rocking chair, though, but I can't be. <laughs> Woo! Violence is a symptom, fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the world, baby girl. I'll paint you pink if that's okay. We'll encourage self destruction through the music that you play. We divided out of men by trying politics. See, okay. Well, don't say boy and girl, Tom. Hey, hey, careful. Those are trigger words. You can't, you can't be saying boy and girl, or you know, <laughs> it's a, it's a fucking crazy world out there right now. But I like that even talking about things like colors being assigned to a certain gender and sex. One of the two genders and sexes. I can't wait for the fact checked on that one. The point is, is that even things like that is part of. But some of that is societal structure which I don't think he's saying that all of that is necessarily bad. I think he's just pointing out how much society and things can just become norms and become so thrown out there that something as simple as like, let's give you, you know, pink as your color. And then all of a sudden we'll start feeding you with everything else that is more, I would say, negative. And I guess in some ways, the whole thing of something as small as a color being assigned to a certain gender could be somewhat forced. But I think it's kind of showing the slippery slope of, hey, baby girl, you know, let me give you this. And then all of a sudden, boom, I'm throwing all this other bullshit at you because it's kind of like starting the crazy slope. I don't know. That's the way I feel about it. But that's an interesting kind of little duality there. That's okay. We'll encourage self-destruction through the music that you play. We divided yep. out of men by trying politics and race. And honestly, it's working awesome. So for you, we'll do the same. Never teaching you to love yourself. Inject you full of hate. Objectify Ooh. your sexuality. Then blame you for the rape. And weaponize the differences that make our men and women great. Then just to screw with you, erase the genders. Everyone's the same. Well, <laughs> just to screw with you we'll give you all this and then we'll just break it the fuck down everyone's the same wow and he was talking about filling with self-hate and stuff i just like that i don't know why that made me laugh so much it's exactly it's it's i love these kind of point of views where he's just saying like oh yeah we're gonna do this and do this and that's kind of the plan it's fantastic <laughs> it's, i love that mentality but it it does portray it in a scary way when you hear this Think about some of the stuff he's saying. I know most of you already do, but it's it's a song that could also open up a lot of people's eyes and kind of realize, oh, that is kind of crazy when you put it like that, which Tom is very good at putting it like that. Teaching you to love yourself, inject you full of hate, objectify your sexuality, then blame you for the rape, and weaponize the differences that make our men and women great, then just to screw with you, erase the genders. Everyone's it's the all same. We'll empower you with rights to vote and fight for equal pay, then have the men turn into women and you'll fight for them again. But you gotta fight for him again sorry you know first time it worked you know equality oh surprise there's a round two to this fight somehow i don't know how that happens but apparently you gotta fight again sorry we really liked it when y'all fought for quality the first time now give it a second try it's like a, it's like a it's like a sequel it's a sequel that never needed to happen we'll empower you with rights to vote and fight for equal pay then have the men turn into women and you'll fight for them again but you thought you had it figured out but everything has changed welcome to the system please enjoy your stay here's a did he just call 
the baby, bitch. He said, welcome to the system, bitch. Imagine that old kid, the time the kid's just sitting there. Huh? That kid heard some choice words right there. Damn. Thought you had it figured out, but everything has changed. Welcome to the system. Please enjoy your stay. Here's a Bible and a bottle of the cheapest booze we make. Find a man who can take care of you to fill the holes we made. Buy a house. Find a man to take care of you to fill the holes we made. Bible and a bottle of the cheapest booze we make. Find a man who can take care of you to fill the holes we made. Buy a house and settle down. Fulfill your duty. Procreate and make a couple babies who will also do the same. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. It's an endless Doesn't cycle. If you're black endless white, cycle. I, you all. Here inside the I system, like that. Violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. I hate you all. Here inside the system. Violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the world, everybody. I'ma paint you black and white. I'ma make you hate each other so that everyone will fight. I'ma give you our religion, let the righteous find the light, but I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. Jesus. That's too real. That's too real, Tom. Okay, all right, hold on. To the world, everybody, I'ma paint you black and white. I'ma make you hate each other so that everyone will fight. I'ma give you our religion, yep. let the righteous find the light, but I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. All of the opposition staged. Like, you get all of these so that there is disagreement and, and fucking headbutting and arguments and choosing sides of right and wrong, left and right, religious and science. Like, it, you have, for everything that is there, there is an opposite. And then now, the job of the system is having those things there, not just for existing, but to have people pinned against each other. It's the whole notion of like, it's easier whether you want to call the system, the government, society, whatever. It, it's, it's one of those things that it's to weaken everybody. And this is a kind of harsh way of reminding people, you got to work together. And some things are placed against everybody from doing that. Some very large things as are kind of clearly noted in this, but there's got to be the unity because otherwise it's just going to keep happening. And the understanding and the kind of awakening, if you will, that doesn't mean being woke. That does not mean be woke. That does not mean be woke. But you have to kind of acknowledge those things and also be able to have conversations and not allow that system to just blindly force you against somebody else and stuff like that. It may not be the subject matter of this song thus far, but that's the kind of things that you're up against and kind of opens eyes to how easy it is to set some of those things up by the contrast you see in all of these different things. That's, I like this. I like I'm going to give you our religion. Let the righteous find the light. But I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. And I'm going to give you borders. They're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. And I'm going to give you... Uh, go to war when everybody dies. Borders. They're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. It's opposites. It's like, it's like, it, it's almost nonsensical the way he's wording it. You know, there's invisible borders. But if you cross them, you start a war. And then you win when everybody dies. It's like... How is that winning? Like it's it's a wild fucking thing. And I'ma give you borders, they're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. And I'ma give you money that you'll value more than life and let the one percent have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you Tom, why are you twisting the baby's head? Then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system, mm -hmm. I hope. Hold on, I want to hear it again. I want to hear it again. Do more than life and let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you and while you divide yourselves, that's the thing. It's like, it's like, like the, I think the album artwork showed him, at, or the single artwork showed him as a puppeteer. It's like that. It's like, Okay, well, while y'all are fighting, I'll just conquer both of them. It is, that's exactly what I'm saying about their, it's easier for them to conquer all of it when everybody's turning against each other, but you have to have the self-realization and understanding of what's going on to try to fight against it as best as you can. And then if people did that more often, there'd be a lot more hope. And I still have hope, but... It's tough. And I'm going to give you money that you'll value more than life and let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics. I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system. My whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because everything is mine. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Ow. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. It hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside 
of the system, violence is a symptom, fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim, doesn't matter if I like you're that black or white, I hate you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom, fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Hmm. Them contacts crazy, bruh. Nova is fucking crazy. Shout out Nova for a killer video. For real. Like, just looking at the different shots and stuff, like, this shit's crazy. They're, the fact that they do this in a room like that, probably in their own house, like, what? It's just, it's almost sickening how dope they are at making videos and making music that's so good. Video aside, which is obviously amazing, the whole song, it's another one that just speaks truth. And I love this because Tom will touch on these different subject matters in a different way every time. He's approached the kind of idea of being brainwashed and turned against each other in several songs. But I feel like they, don't have their, they all have their own style and their own time and a place for when they're kind of a song on their own. And this one's very much so just explaining everything. Bam, 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 bam. Kind of like a listed out. So people that maybe can't see it as easily in other songs, I think, can probably listen to this and be like, oh shit. When you put it like that, 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 and seeing them all together, just straight up listed out is almost what this was. It, it can open people's eyes. And where that goes from there, who knows? Could be people... Either just A, understanding that maybe it's not so much the other person who's arguing with me or has a different belief than me that's the bad guy. And maybe that the news isn't being as truthful. All those singular things, but also more than anything, I think some of the bigger messages that I would say are more widespread and important, it's happening to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, you know, anything. It, it, it's, it's the point is that it's against everybody the same. You can't dodge it. You can't escape it. The best hope that I would say we have is acknowledging that and not letting it continue to get farther and farther, especially towards places like schools, towards daily life. Don't let it infiltrate your social media. But the school thing is one that I know a lot of parents are fucking terrified of. And me just thinking about that is like, that's too fucking far. It was too far to begin with, but taking stuff into schools that are teaching some crazy things, and that's not the sole point of the video, but that's just, it's, it's scary, the stuff that's being talked about now. But, again, it's just the fact that everybody is up against the same thing, the machine, the system. And it's just one of those scary things that I think everybody kind of is, I, I think a lot of people are opening their eyes to it, especially, I know people like y'all in the hog fam, and, and a lot of people out there understand this, but it's always good to have reminders, and hear it broken down. But again, in times like now, when things are kind of always kind of crazy, it feels like we're in a kind of perpetual state of something always happening and crazy and being thrown on Twitter and social media and stuff like that in the news. It's good to hear those as reminders, stuff like this, of don't forget that there's some things that go on behind the scenes that kind of accentuate this. It could be some, you know, they could have some motivation to why these things are being published and thrown out there and taught and trained almost. And um, it's, it's a crazy thing, but I, I love the message. I like the song. It sounded good. Um, it's not one that I would jam every day. I would go play this in my truck in LA just to go prove a point. I would do that. But uh, I really enjoyed the sound of it. The beat was killer. The, all, the, all the lyrics, obviously, on point. And the video, again, shout out to Nova. They're both gangsters. Again, always putting out dope shit, killing it. And it's good to see Tom dropping a single again. I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic and crazy rest of the year for him. Nova, everybody else, and um, I'm just here and just extremely happy to listen to it with you guys and uh, anybody else who decides to come by and um, maybe check out Tom for the first time. So shout out, Tom. The system. Like I said, I just appreciate all you who took the time to watch this with me today. This was one that was a lot of absorbing and a lot of probably conversation around it, so it's probably a little bit longer of a video, but um, I, I like to listen as close as I can, and I just share my perspective of what I think different things mean. That's not an end-all be-all. I didn't write the song. You can ask Tom. I really enjoyed this song. The message behind it, I feel like it's good timing for a message like this. And it's good to see Tom back killing it, refreshed after his little hiatus. You got to take those. And uh, he's definitely hitting the ground running, him and Nova both. So I know it's going to be some more some more of this stuff. And uh, Hog Fam, I know y'all are going to be there for him along the way, as you should. Dope, independent artists making amazing music, impactful music with purpose. That's what I'm fucking here for. And I know many of you are too. So I appreciate Every single one of you, much love to Tom and Nova, as always, and all of you. Through it all, through the crazy madness of the system, try your best to love each other. That's all I can say. I feel like that's a good takeaway message on this, but 
through all the craziness and shenanigans. I hope you're having a good day, a good week, a good month, a good whatever you're having right now. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. <laughs>